Well, it's hard because especially the way Gerard writes it with Gabriel, there's a lot of non-linear storytelling. It's sort of all over the place. Steve, it's uh, really an honor for me to meet you today. Uh, I love your work, man. And uh, this is, uh, a lot of people are excited. You should be thrilled that people are really looking forward to season two. Thanks, Dave. I really appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Yes, sir. Now, uh, back in the day, I remember when uh, Gerard Way, I'm a big uh, My Chemical Romance fan, was working on the comics originally. I've seen them just about at every festival they've ever played. So I knew he was working on these. But my first question to you today is, how did you two meet? Great question. Um, I was looking for a new project. I'd finished something for Netflix and they told me about this graphic novel and I had not read it yet. Uh, and they said, look, you know, it's, it's written by Gerard Way. I'm like the guy from my chemical romance. They said, yes. I like, I have to read that. Cause I was a big fan of that, of the band. And I just loved it. You know, I looked at this comic and I saw a dysfunctional family show with the superhero quality to it. And I said, this is for me, this was great. And, uh, you know, I've since become really good friends with Gerard uh, over this. So it's great. Uh, what the hell did we do now? Tom, uh, you've been part of some pretty big ensembles. Great. I love your work. Both of you all have been done incredible stuff. And I love this show so much. But what is it like for you to work with this ensemble? It's, it's a large cast. Oh, man. It's uh, just the best. Like, I, I, I couldn't ask for a better cast of people to work with on a daily basis. I mean... It's, I get, you know, I get so excited when I know we've got a group scene coming up because I know those days are, are so much fun. Um, and also as well, I'm, I love watching everyone work because everyone's mm. so good on this show, you know, and everyone's so well cast um, and it's brilliantly written. So I, I, I find myself sometimes when I'm doing scenes with the group, particularly in group scenes, like I've missed lines before because I'll be admiring someone else's work. I'll be like watching them do a scene and going, yeah, that's good. They're good. That's good. And I'm like, oh, it's my line. Um, so, you know, I think we really are so fortunate to have, um, have such a great cast and, and even, even more so that we all get on so well, you know, like that's not always the case. And there's, there's not really any egos in this cast either. That's the other good thing. You know, everyone's very down to earth. Everyone, turns up is a team player and uh, wants to get the best job done. And that's, that's the most important thing, man, because we've got to make a good show at the end of the day. Look, I'm the biggest fan of the show, but the most I've been able to get through is four episodes by nature i am not a binger and me and my family so we'll sit down and we'll watch it and we'll put four hours into it and we're really big fans of the show we're really invested in it we enjoy watching the episodes but yeah it's a lot to take in if you are able to binge it it's nice because you get to see the story slowly ramp up to this exponential curve of just the plot gets thicker and thicker and thicker and more complex. And you see all these things which you thought uh, didn't mean anything all of a sudden come together. And so it's really fun to watch how Steve Blackman and the writers uh, weave all these themes together. So if you can watch it in one sitting, go ahead by all means. Enjoy the show in whatever capacity you wish. What is the biggest thrill for you to be a part of this show? I mean, there's so many things, but I think for me, I, I, I really love the humanity of these characters. And I think that there is something that everybody can connect to in one of the siblings or one of, you know, any of the characters that are in the show. I think, um, you know, it does a brilliant job of, of kind of grounding all of these characters in, in, in you know, in, in the reality of true emotions and, and the result of trauma and, and, you know, mental health and mental, like mental health awareness and, and family. Um, and I think, you know, there's, there's just so much to pull from. And I think it's, it's really, um, it's always so fun as an actor to, to, to be able to play, you know, a superhero in the grand scheme of things, but I've really like, gra like grounded, um, you know, seemingly fully realized person that, and, and the complications that come with, you know, being a hero and having that pressure. 
Yeah. Robert, I, I got to ask about the question of the costumes. Um, is it fun to put them on? No. <laughs> it depends on the costume, Dave. It depends on the costume, you know, because some of them are fashion far before function, you know. Uh, when that first scene that, that Justin's talking about was, I still had my my kind of oddly Norse-inspired cult goatee thing, which was, uh, as Justin quite rightly pointed out, after the after the 400th time that the glue had melted off my chin and it was sort of hanging off like this, and there was there's someone trying to kind of mop the, the, the sweat off my face and re-glue it at the same time, <laughs> Justin was like, it looks like a matcha whisk. <laughs> And it was the most the most irritating matcha whisk in the universe, to be to be honest and frank. Um, but you know, then then the the kind of the practicability of the costumes uh, uh, caught up with the with the fabulousness of them by about episode three. Klaus, it's been here. No, unfortunately, ghosts can't time travel. Are you kidding me? How does that make you feel? Like on the thirty first, when this show is out, what's going through your mind? I mean. I excitement you know you know i'm very proud of the of something that we've been able to do and and hopefully people enjoy it as much as they did season one um i also i'm just excited for my you know for my family to watch it i'm excited for my friends to watch it for my cousins for my aunts my uncles my cousins friends you know all of the people because it, it's such a such a it's backed by a lot of families you know and i feel like everyone in the cast you know, they pour their hearts and soul into this. And I, you know, I, I hope that it pays off. All right, first off, I want to say we brought the end of the world back here with us. Oh my God, again? What is the challenge to uh, bringing a novel like this to a series, a, a TV series on the screen? Well, it's hard because, uh, especially the way Gerard writes it with Gabriel, there's a lot of non-linear storytelling. It's sort of all over the place. You know, I have to tell a 10 hour narrative, a 10 hour story, you know, which is like a continuous movie, the way the show is. It's like you can pick it up and roll through as many episodes as you can consume and binge. So, I, you know, I can't use everything in the graphic novel. I have to often make my own original content for it. At the same time, I want to be very respectful to the fans and have enough of the graphic novel that they feel like this is the, the graphic novel they love. And then, you know, we got all these new fans as well. They're sort of mixing the mediums. They're going to look at the graphic novel now. They started with the show and vice versa. So it's 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 a to find a good balance is really my goal. Everything in our new life is connected to the plot to assassinate the president. That can be a coincidence. My excitement is a fan. What is your excitement? I mean, the whole world is waiting for this. It's about to be released uh, on the thirty first when this is out. What what's going through your mind? It's a ray of sunshine in this darkness that we uh, have been living in for the past few months, you know, I, I, I haven't had really anything to look forward to, especially with our entire industry being shut down. Uh, so I, I'm just so thankful that our post production team was able to sort of put it all together, even even in quarantine and, and to get it out for the world to see and enjoy. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be more excited. I think uh, the world needs a little a little fun and excitement in their lives right now. None of us are supposed to be here, right? We know something changes the timeline. Uh, and I know that you uh, were familiar with the uh, the novel uh, before doing this show. Yes, so when you actually became a part of this, how 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 thrilling was that for you? It was surreal. I mean, if you look at it luck wise, it's an incredible coincidence that something I was a major fan of. I actually got a chance to be a part of in a big way and meet the creator of. And then it, you can look at it aside from that. I was on a show for four years and then a month after that ended, I got this. It was a completely different tone. Uh, each episode is like shooting a movie. I get to work with an incredible cast, like so many things lined up that it, it almost, it, it's hard to comprehend all the different levels of luck that I got in order to play five. So I, not a day goes by where I take it for granted. Before everyone and everything we know is dead. 
the music is a really big part of this show. I almost call it another character. The soundtrack is phenomenal. Uh, what is the process that you go through to choose the music? Well, it's funny you should say it's another character. That's what I say to everyone. It is another character of the show. I have a really big love of music. Music is a big part of my life. So I go into the season with a lot of songs that I have a big playlist where I, I, I think of these songs. So right ahead of time when I'm thinking about scenes, I've already thought of a song for it. So I put a lot of the, the music in the script. And, you know, I, I, a lot of it makes it through. I also have a music supervisor I work with who's great uh, and helps me. But, you know, my, myself, uh, I, I put a lot of it in. The writers give me some options. And really, you know, I, it really helps the show. We love doing sort of music and counterpointing it. And we find it a really great part of it. 